Hello, this is Jess. Uh, this is round number two, chat session number one. I uh, failed to make my deadline by midnight on chat session number 172, I believe. Uh, back a month or so back. Half a month back. So I decided to uh, restart May 1st, which is today. And uh, read a couple of neat uh, deals on history. Uh, one of them was uh, uh, Henry Ford uh, decided to uh, make the work week Monday through Friday, a five day work week, 40 hours a week. Um, it generally was whatever the employer decided up to that point, uh, but he was an industrial leader and he decided to get more out of his workers by going to a Monday to Friday uh, routine, um, had to be more efficient on the assembly line, and uh, <clears throat> with that he uh, also instituted, the, I guess the auto workers were making about $2.35 for a uh, eight hour work day. Uh, he upped it to five dollars and uh, it was a brilliant uh, move on his part. Everyone else in the, in the industry was shocked, you know. But uh, pretty soon everyone followed suit and raised the you know, pay. They realized that the production line and assembly line on the Ford plant was incredibly increasing due to loyalty because of the pay. Uh, it was a good move on his part. That was an interesting uh, part of history. I believe that was 1922. Uh, not, don't hold me to that. Couldn't have been 27. Uh, but anyway, okay, so uh, in 1960, uh, a U-2 spy plane was uh, apparently shot down over the Soviet Union. Uh, this plane was an incredible uh, technological advancement of the time. It could fly at altitude to 70,000 feet. And uh, when it was shot down, Eisenhower was president, I guess, and uh, it made a big mess of a summit that was coming up with the Soviet Union and Britain and Russia and the different countries uh, concerning the nuclear arms race, things like that. But uh, when it went down, the CIA assured the president that the plane had a self-destruct mechanism that would destroy anything to make it unrecognizable or to be uh, usable by the Soviet Union if they, when they, if they did get it. But much to uh, the... It was horrible for Eisenhower because he had to admit it was a spy plane because uh, they came back on the news and had the pilot and had pretty much the full intact wreckage of the uh, spy plane so Eisenhower had to admit that it was a spy plane. That was a pretty interesting little area of history that I guess I just didn't really know a lot about. So I thought I would share that. That was 1960. Uh, as you can see it's a different uh, video location. I've uh, made some changes so I'm basically right now in a, in a uh, hotel by the week kind of thing still working and doing all that stuff I work at uh, building cabinets all day and on the weekends I had a uh, convenience store overnight shifts so it's I'll, I'll be busy and I hopefully won't be in here too too long I'll find a little place to rent somewhere eventually but I'm not struggling or I'm not hurrying. I'm just taking it day by day right now. Uh, but anyway, um, I'd like to say hello to my mom and dad. How's it going? Hope everything's alright. Everything's okay here. Uh, I'd like to say hello to my uh, sister Leslie. Hey. And my brothers Jim, uh, Steve, and Scott. How y'all doing? Uh, nice little families that all arranged around in that my nephews and nieces and different things 
It's a good situation, family. But, uh, and then I'd like to uh, say hello to my kids. Uh, Erica, Scott, and Alex. Love you guys. And, uh, of course, the stretch of that, you know, outstretch from that is uh, Lauren, hey, and uh, Israel, hey, what's up? And then I have uh, grandkids, uh, Aiden and uh, Roxy. And uh, so things are okay. But anyway, it's about 11.15 uh, p.m. Uh, Tuesday night. I took the day off today for personal reasons. And I'll be back at hard at it to work in the morning. I'll be there at 7. So I'll be... Uh, Going down for a little breakfast here at the hotel, and then head on to work. And I'll probably pull a 14-hour day, get off at 10. That's what I've been doing. Overtime uh, helps the end uh, results, so as long as they're offering it, I'm taking it. It got real tight there for a while. We were struggling to get 40, but cabinet counts change and stuff varies, so... Uh, it's good right now. They're offering it, I'm taking it. And that's just the way that is. But okay, uh, went and did a little stocking up on some stuff I'm going to need here uh, at the old store down the road. And uh, got that all taken care of. I'm situated for my lunch at work, that kind of thing. Uh, lunches and got some dinner stuff. and Be okay. All right, well. Have a uh, great Tuesday evening. Be truthful. Be happy. And uh, let's look out for each other, okay? Bye.